I'm sure there's a lot of doctors in the room that are discouraged and a lot of medical students around the country that are going, cool, that sounds great. So there's clearly a social issue here, Missy. How much of this is going to be about dealing with the social ramifications of the new relationship between humans and machine systems, and how much of it is going to really be about the underlying technology? Well, I, I gave a talk similar to this last week at the University of Iowa, and um, the internists in the room raised their hands and rejoiced. They love me, right, because they, they know that I'm pushing this desire to go to the analytical uh, domain as opposed to a, a more skill-based domain. And I think that we're going to see pockets of professionals who, who love these technologies and maybe other people who it's more near and dear to their heart that they feel like their jobs are, are changing. And humans, you know, generally we don't like change. And so we're, I think we're going to have to, and, and of course, young, youth. By right. the way, youth. My, my students today, when I ask them if you will fly on a commercial airplane that's, an, that's not manned, uh, they all, say yes. all of them say yes. Yeah. So patients are a new part of the equation in so much of the modern time. And we, get, we got a question about that. Could it be that patients might be the force to pull this kind of technology into the marketplace, even if doctors in the medical community resist it? As in, people say, I want an ATM 24-7, I don't want to wait for the teller. The same kind of thing, could that work in medicine? I, absolutely, and I think the, the iPhone app type of marketplace is going to drive that. People want that technology, they like to be self-advocates, they want to have control over their lives, so I think that you will see this push-pull. The so pull is going to come That patient community could be a force that the doctor and the medical community may not have bargained with. They totally sort of had that priesthood totally thing agree. going and suddenly patients break the priesthood. Last question from one of the students, I'm sure. Can that robotic helicopter, is it making autonomous decisions on where to land or is it just being controlled like a UAV? Uh well, UAVs, even today, uh, they're generally autonomous, but the helicopter that you saw, it makes its own decision. The human says, land, and then... Help me, I'm wounded. Helicopter with bag comes, picks me up, takes me out of war zone. That's I'm liking right. that a whole lot. Thank you very much, Missy. Thank you. <laughs>